Hey everybody, my, my name is Brandon. Uh, in this video, I want to focus on the things that you shouldn't do out on the road as far as uh, truck driving. Um, a lot of these things uh, you hear about other drivers uh, complaining about on the CB radio, but nothing really actually gets done. You know, you just hear a lot of uh, complaining, complaining really. Um, First thing is, is, don't ever, 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 no matter how tired you are, how lazy you are, don't, don't ever park in a fuel island unless you're there to get fuel or to clean your win your windows. You know, you can park in front of the fuel islands, but do not park uh, in them. Reason being is because then you're just blocking the fuel islands, and that prevents that one person, the one driver, to uh, from uh, getting fuel. You know, and it also uh, uh, the, the uh, truck stop could be losing a little bit of uh, money as well because you decide to be uh, an idiot and. Uh, Biggest annoyance for anybody really out here, and you will get, and I have seen it cause fights. Um, I personally, myself, have cussed a few people out because, because I don't like it. Um, another thing is, is if you're governed at 62 mile an hour or slower, you have no reason to hang out in the left lane, none whatsoever. They call the left lane the hammer lane for a reason. So I, if you're governed at 62 or slower, stay in the right lane. This way you're out of everybody's way and you won't have to worry about anything. Nine times out of ten, what they're going to hear is static. 
So I would recommend any uh, uh, getting something that's uh, uh, that would be more expensive. You know, don't go less than eighty dollars. Uh, this way, you know you're getting yourself a good good product.
for your future references for uh, new drivers, uh, just don't do it, please. Uh, it'll uh, it'll save you guys from uh, being, putting yourself in a uh, tight situation. Oh, uh, and one other thing I forgot to uh, I just remembered is uh, do not park in front of the scale. Uh, when you're done sca uh, scaling your truck, uh, when you're done weighing your truck, find a parking spot. Just bag your truck in for, into a parking spot. I know it's gonna. You know, I know you're thinking, well, you're just gonna be in and out, no, uh, no big deal. Well, the thing is, it, it, it is a big deal because that few minutes can turn into 30 minutes because you don't know how many people are standing there at the counter waiting to check out. You, you don't know if you got a guy there that's doing a, a Western Union trying to send money uh, back home. No, you don't have, you don't know if you got another guy standing there with 50 million things in his arms wanting to uh, buy all that stuff. You have no idea. You could also, there could also be a guy, and I have seen this before, um, where a driver was arguing with a uh, cashier. Um, I don't remember what it was about, but I just remember that they were arguing. And it uh, took up a good half an hour for it. You know, so, uh, uh, and, and during that time, it, within that time, you know, if you're sitting in front of the scale, you could have another driver within a half an hour, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever, pull right in behind you, scale their truck, and now they have to uh, back out. And, and uh, if they have another truck behind them, that's wanting to get in, and this does happen, um, they're not going to be able to back out because the truck behind them is blocking them in, and then you're blocking them in. So do not park in front of the scale. I promise you, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of effort just to find a parking spot out in the parking lot and just walk in. Don't be lazy. I promise you, things will be a whole lot better than you. All right? That's all I can think of for today. You guys have a safe